Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nesting Padasale. So this is to inform you an official update that has been released yesterday in the csrnet.nta.nic.in. I think they have released this public notice yesterday only but yesterday by 9 p.m. onwards I was visiting this website. No update has been made. I think in the midnight they have released this public, public notice. What is a public notice? means advanced intimation of allotment of examination city to candidate for JRF and for lecturership position for joint CSCR UGC net examination. 2021 to be conducted on 29 January. So please make sure it is only for uh, examination that to be conducted on 29th of January. So if you watch a detailed information that has been given in the PDF, so NTA will be conducting this joint CSER UGC NET examination June 2021 for JRF and lecture issue question on 29th of January and 15th, 16th and 17th of February in CBT mode. With a view to facilitate the candidate, NTA will be issuing an advanced city allotment intimation slip before issuing admit card. So please make sure nowhere any exam up to date conducted in India, nowhere no exam conducting authority will release this kind of information. This is the first time in history where they are releasing this advanced city allotment information slip. Do you know why, what is the purpose of releasing this advanced city information slip? Like, let me show you. So yesterday I shared a video in that I shared. So it, after taking this correction window, either they will provide you a dashboard for downloading admit card or else in the news and event column, we may get an important announcement saying that uh, exam has been postponed or exam has been deferred or reschedule exam date like that. We can get any information because as you know, the third wave is very rising and many students are protesting to postpone various examination. If you take gate examination, a student are going to appeal for court case under that circumstances, students are really worrying because total number of students who had applied for gate is 12 lakhs, whereas total number of students who are applied for joint CSR examination is only 2 lakhs. So that might be one reason, but this 2 lakhs students will depend only on this joint CSER exam for all their career. So uh, friends, I, I, I'll be sharing, saying you, you should think in two part of a coin. You can think in good news and also bad news. So if you take the good news, so they had announced this uh, advanced exam intimation slip only for the exam that has been planned to be conducted on January 29th. So if you see this schedule for the joint CSER UGC NET examination June 2021, 29th of January, Air Sciences, Atmospheric Sciences, Ocean Sciences and Planetary Sciences will be writing the examination. Whereas other sciences like Physical Sciences, Mathematical Sciences, Chemical Sciences, Life Sciences, they are going to write the examination in third week of February. And what is this IIT Kanpur and IIT Madras already informed, they said that in the first week of February, Corona will be in a high peak. Third wave of Corona will be rising like anything and the peak will be decreased at the end of February like that only they had informed. So this again add up an important update. Only this NTA IT, it's based on my expectation only friends in order to answer all the questions that the students have been asking whether the state uh, CSE exam postponed. I think that the NTA will be conducting the examination for Earth Sciences, Atmospheric Sciences, Ocean Sciences and Planetary Sciences on 29th alone. Since first reason is that they have released this advanced city intimation slip for the exam that is going to be conducted on 29th. So 29th means exam is going to be conducted your Earth Sciences, Atmospheric Sciences, Ocean Sciences and Planetary Sciences. And the next reason is that total number of students who had applied for Earth Sciences, Atmospheric Sciences, Ocean Sciences and Planetary Sciences were only 3,000 to 4,000. Whereas if you take total number of students who had applied for Physical Sciences, it is 40,000, Mathematical Sciences is 50,000, Chemical Sciences is 50,000 and Life Sciences 1 lakh to 1.5 lakh. Okay, and uh, since the, this exam has been planned to be conducted on February, <coughs> I think only air sciences will be writing the examination on the planned date and your physical sciences, mathematical sciences, chemical sciences, life sciences, you will be writing your examination once this third wave has been decreased to the lowest. Okay, and also another thing you can think in another point by 15th of February means uh, two weeks. Okay, 
so there are three weeks uh, to go for this 15th of february so at that time maybe this corona will get decreased and everything will be getting normal based on god's sake at that time you can write your examination safety guidelines pandemic restrictions will be removed because you can able to see by january 31 i think they, the many states are uh, re receiving their pandemic restriction in tamil nadu and all january 31st onwards colleges will be reopened and everything will be getting normal normal lockdown and all not like that government has been announced but we don't know it's all in the hand of this covid virus so you might be writing your examination later on like that i am saying it's based on my particular knowledge and the next thing is that if they are going to conduct the exam as planned then why they need releases admit card details why they are releasing this advanced city intimation another reason is that you know many students from this two lakh candidate who are applied for this joint cse or examination will be keep on mailing to this nta asking for them to postpone this examination or some group of students they are asking this nta to release the admit card as soon as possible like that they are keep on mailing and in order to keep the full stuff for those questions that are asked by students side i don't know whether they have released such a kind of controversial information like that and also uh, for advanced city allotment examination center to those candidate for junior research fellowship why they have released this particular examination center for 29 january students alone still i don't know if they are going to be conduct exam nation as plan they should release for every every uh, paper okay and that's the thing i'm saying so only 29th uh, january students they will be writing and physical sciences mathematical sciences chemical sciences life sciences they are keeping you as a separate category and they will take a decision to conduct the examination or not to conduct the examination the next information given in this particular thing is regarding your admit card please note that admit card will be issued later admit card for the air force center examination it's not only for this air sciences it is for other sciences will be uploaded closer to the examination site so say if they are releasing the if they are having examination on 29th of january by 28th of evening only they may release the admit card the reason is that since they have opened the link for advanced city intimation if you go and click on this particular link and you if you put your application number and your update of birth and your security pin means you will get where is your examination center like that you might know okay so after that there is no need to searching for admit card and that so admit card generally carries the information of your examination center and it will be very much helpful so the student can plan now itself since some students will be applying from their place where they are currently pursuing their msc program or btech program or other program and now due to this covid lockdown many students have came to this home town and now at least today they can know where they are going to write examination so that it will be very much helpful for those students to apply for any train tickets or book train tickets or book hotel for writing this examination center like that i can say so this is for uh, earth sciences students okay and the next important thing is that please uh, uh, think yourself for the lucky years because if you take gate admit card gate to release admit card but they have released a strict covid guidelines so if you see this particular point as per government order any candidate who is covid 19 positive or has any other infectious or contagious diseases must not come out out of home or hospital and hence the entry of such candidate will be denied so after seeing this particular thing think yourself as a most lucky because nda didn't even release those kind of information okay so those students who are having this covid positive can write the examination only thing is that they will be write their examination in an isolated room like that i am saying okay so please make sure to utilize what are the good points that being uh, given in this particular thing and for those students who had applied your csr paper in physical sciences mathematical sciences chemical sciences life sciences so you are going to write an examination only on after two weeks of the peak and at that time i think the covid third wave peak will get started to decline and if the if the covid get decline then there are many chances for the exam to be conducted and you can also write your exam happily without uh, no risk of uh, worrying about whether you will get a uh, uh, virus effect or you will get a uh, um, spreading like that you can no need to worry about like that 
so think in two aspects of the coin and also please pray to god to get a wave decrease because uh, it's not a easy problem anyway uh, 2021 you didn't even write no examination and in 2022 has been started fresh but you know this home icon has lead a good impact only if you wrote the examination of february by march end they, they will release an opening of second examination cycle that might be either for december 2021 or june 2022 because in that 2022 year the same has announced uh, they are going to write the examination for three three things and also this nta not only involved in conducting csar examination they are also involved in conducting various examination they are also conducting this ugc net examination everything so all is under the control of this nta so if nta is taking any measures with respect to covid protocol then there are highest chances for your uh, if they are saying uh, for your csar exam also to follow the same protocol see here you can able to see they have released this examination date for indira gandhi national open university like that so please thank the same thing because if csar is taking the control of conducting examination you can't able to write the examination they might cancel this joint csar ugc net examination result because they are not that much active in providing you information with respect to this joint csar ugc net examination so for those students who had applied uh, uh, other subjects with respect to life sciences chemical sciences physical sciences other side, uh, sorry physical sciences and chemical sciences you need to wait for february 13 or 12 only at that time they might release a uh, intimation slip for yourself so that's a video i need to share with you okay i hope you got an answer for uh, postponing the csar exam any further so this video will be really helpful so thank you friends thanks for watching this video